got these summer games. Um, first of all, I'd like to start by uh, introducing some of our special guests today. From Richardson Pioneer, we have Randy Riggi, who's the Director of Operations. We have Tom Hamilton, who's Vice President. And we have Tobias Dewey, who's Senior Director. We also have Mike Merriman, who's Super Superintendent of Schools, Southeast Cornerstone School Division. We have Pat Janot, who's Principal of Estevan Comprehensive School. And we have Bernie Yardalin, who is co-chair of our Friends of the Games Committee. And we have Ray Frillet, who is instrumental in helping us get this deal with the Purchasing Pioneer, and also a very generous supporter. We also have from City Council, we have Greg Hopper and Kevin Smith. And we do have our mascots somewhere, Bradley and Tansy. So we'll be joining us shortly. Short. So for now, I would like to hand the mic over to uh, uh, Bernie Burndala to make the official announcement on our behalf. Thank you, Brian. Well, today, I am very excited to make a major announcement that will have a huge impact to Estevan 2016 Games as well as Southeastern Region of Saskatchewan. Richardson Pioneer is recognized not only across the province but throughout Western Canada as a committed community partner. Today, we are honoured and humbled that they are making a difference in our own community with a $100,000 donation. Richardson Pioneer's support of Esteban Games will assist us in leaving a strong legacy of the Games in the way of improved sporting facilities. Recognition of Richardson Pioneer's support will be twofold. They have received the naming rights to the improved tennis courts located at the Estadan Comprehensive School for the next 10 years. And the courts will be named the Richardson Pioneer Tennis Courts. As well, Richardson Pioneer will receive a diamond event sponsorship package for the Estadan 2016 Saskatchewan Summer Games and will be named the sponsor of the Richardson Pioneer Tennis Venue. I'd like to thank you. Thanks to Ray for being our instrumental, as uh, Brian said, in pulling this together for us, really our connection with Richardson and the community. Um, I want to thank the Richardson Foundation for their support to Richardson Pioneer and the, the Richardson Ag Business Center, as they're instrumental in bringing this to us. And, and really, uh, from my uh, reading on their website, have been very instrumental in a lot of projects such as this throughout Western Canada. Thank you very much, and I would like to call Randy up. Oh, Ray, Ray is going to come and say a few words first. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman and Chairman and uh, guests. Uh, my uh, few words aren't going to take long. I just want to mention that uh, I uh, do a lot of business with the Richland Group, but I had the opportunity to tour their facilities in, in Manitoba and Winnipeg and go to the Clyburn Farm, which uh, is a farm that they grow plots on and uh, improve the uh, agronics and uh, new types of grains and canolas and, and they're developing a farm like they have it in south of Winnipeg at Bridgeton, Saskatchewan. That's going to be started this year and will be finished in a couple of years. And they're, they've got 500 acres and they're going to grow different types of crops, use different agronomics, and it's going to be a tour center. And, uh, and I congratulate them for that because Saskatchewan is the heart of the Great Belt. Uh, the other thing I do want to mention, ladies and gentlemen, is that the Richland Foundation has spent in 2015 $1.5 million supporting small communities in Western Canada. Esteban, this is the second sponsor. 